What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back into some more Anno 1800. We are back with our Disaster Save series right here, and we are continuing on from the last episode. Uh, we got the island of Reek over here, or however you say that, all squared away and done, and we are ready to move on to La, La Croissant. Or however you want to say it. I just got to call it La Cruz. La Cruz? La Cruz. No, I don't like, her. I don't like Cruz. Bad taste in my mouth with that one. Oh, less, less. Um, yeah. So less over here needs a little bit of work. Now I did speak to the person who sent me the save, and he did let me know that uh, this island here is kind of going to be his capital island eventually. And this island right here, he wanted as a as a self sufficient island. So we do. I do want to ma like maintain that because that's what he was wanting. He want th wants this to be self sufficient. So we're going to set that up uh, as he is requesting, and we're going to make that happen. Uh, all right, so first thing is first, let's go take a quick gander here at some of our trade routes. So he had a trade route bringing building material and steam motors over there. And he had a, a trade route bringing that and that. Now that is not the definition this is not the definition of a uh, self-sufficient island. So we're going to delete it. We're going to delete it. That is that is not how you do self-sufficiency. Neither is this. I don't think this person knows what self-sufficiency... Actually, I set that trade route up, didn't I? Because I didn't know he was wanting to do a self-sufficient trade route. So I did do this. So we're going to change that. Since he wants this to be self-sufficient, we are going to uh, we're going to change that because I I didn't know he wanted this to be a self-sufficient island. So we're, we'll make that adjustment for him. Everybody on YouTube, say hello to everybody in chat that is calling you peasants. Don't be a peasant. Come join us on Twitch.tv/slash Karazuka. Nobody wants to be a peasant. All right. Let's take a look and see what we've got going on here. What are we shy on? We're shy on fur coats, uh, bombins. Now, this is one thing I don't agree with, and I am. I will get it situated, but I will tell you right now, I don't agree with how he has done this. Don't trying to squeeze everything onto this, like these scholars and stuff. Scholars require quite a few goods from other regions. And you could import this stuff. I, I wouldn't personally try to do a self-sufficient island with all the with scholars and everything on it. I would set scholars off onto their own special little place, maybe. Maybe I would maybe put scholars back over here on Rookdom. Uh he's got some room maybe up here on Dudam. He's got all this empty space on Schoongraven. I would move the scholars off of this island. Uh, they require a lot to keep them satisfied, and trying to put them on a self-sufficient island isn't always the easiest way to do it. Uh, plus, again, a self-sufficient island, this is like the worst possible place to do that. If you're going to do a self-sufficient island, you really want to choose an island that has oil on it. Okay, you really, really want to do that. So what I would have done is maybe come down here before Artur did and grabbed one of these islands. My God, Artur. Dude, with the hunting cabins. I would have come down here and grabbed one of these islands that has oil on it and used one of those as a self-sufficient island. Uh, that way you don't have to import as much oil and you can produce most of it yourself locally. That's what I would have personally have done. I don't care. Just you can blow it up. I really don't care, dude. So yeah, just just a few things I would have done a uh, little differently. Not have the scholars here because you need a lot of scholars. Right now he only has research points of eighty five thousand. You want to get up to a research point cap of two hundred and fifty thousand, which is the cap for major discoveries. A lot of people get that really confused. We go right here and look. You have fields of research, item development, major discoveries. Item development does not have a cap. It can it can cost 500,000 research points to develop something eventually uh, as the cost scales. 
Major discoveries, however, that's your, you know, permits, your moving and changing of stuff, and your um, different types of production. Those do not, ha uh, those do have a cap of 250,000 research points. So you're going to need a lot of scholars and his scholars are kind of meh. He does. He's not really maximizing the space around it, which is fine. Um, and he's, he's not really using the best items either. This one right here is not, uh, actually, no, this one here is okay. That one's not bad. He's not using the, what I would call the best items for it either so you need a lot more space for a lot more scholars so i would not have done my self-sufficient island with scholars on it i would have stuck with something else but anyways that's just me so let's go through here and let's kind of square some of this right here away for him all right what's up fisherman's friend how's it going so this is not going to be too bad uh oil are we importing oil Okay, we've got... Oh, that's right. He's got, like, the five mil... Now, I've had a few people arguing with me in comments saying that his trade routes were perfectly fine and doing the trade route like he has it... Like, this is perfectly fine. I I just I just disagree with that. I, I think this right here is not that good. Um, it's essentially the same thing as having one trade route with multiple ships on it but you're not it's a, it's six of one half a dozen of another basically this having single trade routes with one ship on it doesn't change anything the ships are still going to back up they're still going to sit around and wait sometimes it's six of one half a dozen of another basically what i like to do is just have as few trade routes as possible a few trade routes in my list as possible so there's no reason to have all of this. And plus, I'm thinking he's way overproducing it anyways. Because this is all... So that's coming from Pigazow. Ara. Ara. I remember he had a couple of different ones. He's got them coming from everywhere for some reason. So he's got, he's got like... He's got like two trade routes per each individual island. Which he could have condensed down. Let's see. I, I've got a. This is why I don't like this because it's like so confusing. Costa, so one for Costa, two for Costa, one, two for Para, and then one from Pigazau. Okay. Let's go and check these. So basically, he's sending them from all of his, all of them. And if we look, he you know, like he doesn't need that much. Yes, is it is in Polish. This is a Polish player, so it's like I don't I don't know or understand the reasoning behind so many trade routes. It it does it doesn't make any sense to me, really, to be quite frank with you. Um, our one trade route right here, going from pigs out. That's the the same one. What was that? Yeah, here we go. The Schoon Graven. Uh, oh, actually, that's a really good one right there. Let's take that. So, Schoongraven to... Oh, interesting. The ships have to wait a long time at this harbor. Again, this is because he has so many trade routes that I think are absolutely unnecessary. So, we take a look right here. Uh, this is this is Perumba, yeah. So, that's 400. Back to the old world. Schoongraven has 250. So, it should be fine. So let's just basically choose where our oil is going to come from. For that one island. So from here to La Croissant. That's going to be fine. So let's reduce this right here down. So Costa to there. Okay. So we're going to get rid of all of these other trade routes. Doesn't need them. At all. Okay. 
takes care of that. Now, he didn't he have, though... Okay, I do need the trade route here. And I think I deleted it by mistake, which is fine. We'll fix it. So we'll just add one more trade route back in. And let's see where we want this one to come from. Usually, the best way I like to do it is have one new world island that can supply like one old world island. And then if it's overproducing, then ship that from the old world island to multiple other islands using minimum stock. But since he's kind of got like, he's got like three islands each that need the oil. So it should be okay. Go check between here and rook down. Okay, yeah, so he's way overproducing. He should be fine there as well. Jump back up here. I don't think he's using oil up here. No, he's not. He's not using oil up there. So that one's fine. Okay, so yeah, we will create another oil route. And we'll go Big Zhao up to Berkdom. And we'll just uh, do that and that. And we'll just add a ship on. Okay. So that's going to take care of that oil right there. So that kind of cleans up the oil trade routes. They won't have to sit there and wait for uh, forever anymore. And it should be okay after that. Now, again, he's overproducing the oil, which is fine. What I would do in that case later on, if he needs oil, let's say up here on Dudam. Just send just send an extra ship from uh, whatever the island is in the New World up here to Rookdom. And then set a minimum stock for your oil in your harbor. Or set your minimum stock here of, say, you know, however much it is, uh, however much the consumption is per minute times the travel time for the trade route. Set the minimum stock and then have another ship bring it back up here to Dudam. And then drop it off. It'll, it'll even itself out eventually because Dudam will fill up on oil and then it won't need as much. And it'll, it'll even itself out and balance itself out and you'll be just fine. There was absolutely no need to have, what, five oil trade routes going to this one island. Um, it was just, uh, that was a bit absurd. Yeah, I'm not doing that quest for you right now, buddy. Okay. So that's going to take care of that little problem. No, go away. I'm not doing the quest. Shut up. Where is he at that's bothering me? God, he's bothering me. I hate Marcier sometimes. Okay. Now we do want to do some exports over here. We're kind of doing a bit of everything over here. And I really actually ought to clean this right here up. And I want to bring the grain in. Bringing in the furs. That's good. Just kind of taking a look and seeing and thinking. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Nope. People keep asking when the next DLC is coming. You need to bookmark Anno Union, Anno-Union.com. And if you're ever curious, if there's any information about the, about the next DLC, just go to that website and look at it. If there's no information posted, then there is no information available. And if I knew something, I couldn't tell you if it was, unless it was posted. People keep asking me that as if I have some secret knowledge of the game. Sorry, I'm slinging the, uh, the map everywhere. And even if I did, unless it was already posted by Ubisoft, then I would be under what is called an NDA. And I would not be able to uh, give you that information to begin with. So... Stop asking me. I don't know. <laughs> uh. I'm going to bring 
Mm -hmm. Swap. I'm bringing you here. Bring you there. There we go. That'll work. Okay. Stremmer has no secret knowledge. I call scam on that. Who knows? But farthest frontier, I, I, I requested early access for it. I mean, I would love to play it, but I mean, ultimately, my channel is still is really small. You know, my channel is not that big of a channel, so they they probably don't consider my channel big enough to to you know give me a key for it. So it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay, so we want to export. I need to export something here. One of the big things is really... He's going to make this a self-sufficient island. He really needs to get rid of a lot of these farmers and workers that he's got. Like... He doesn't really need all that kind of stuff. upgrades here and get rid of some of this. Yeah, the uh the uh, the release the early access release for Farthest Frontier is on August 9th, so at this point, you know, who cares? I'll get it eventually. I'll get access to it myself eventually. Yes, I'd miss out on the early access period, which would probably be, like, more ideal for the channel. But, you know, it, it, it's fine. I'll get it later. Alright. Yeah, having such a massive overabundance of workforce of farmers and workers, you know, honestly just kind of hurts you in the end. Um, there's really no need to do that. But what I what we what we really need to look at is getting some uh getting some stuff that we can export. Um so he's wanting this to be self-sufficient. So we're going to make it self-sufficient by uh giving him some giving him some goodies. What is he what was he crafting again? He's got some Ferris Al Cerami queued up. He is he did queue up a Bruno Iron Bright. So that's good. Uh, do we have any Bruno Iron Brights by chance on this island? No, but we do have a Dario. Uh, he is in a trading post already, and he's affecting... This is a terrible, terrible setup right here for all of his production. And it's over there in Rookdam anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, wait. I, I chose Rookdam. That's not what I want. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we do have a couple of Brunos. Good. Do we have any Darios? I'm not seeing any Darios. But he does have a couple of Brunos. Oh boy, you know what that means. You know what it's time for. It's time for Gilead's favorite thing. Taka's gonna cheat. It is time for Taka is gonna cheat. What's up, Joker? I'm not gonna clip them though. I'll 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 refrain from clipping, even though it's so good. Well, I'll refrain from clipping. I need some more wood. Got wood? I need wood. All right. Come on, come on, come on. Eat timber. Show me timber. 25. Do it. I'm using Docklands. I'm going to use Docklands to start... Because he wants this to be self-sufficient, and the easiest way to make a self-sufficient island is to just use Bruno and Bicycle Factories, even if they're not clipped. 
just use Bruno and Bicycle Factories. So, yeah, it, it, it is what it is. I'm going to grab one of him. Grab us a Ferris, and then we will put in a... Um, ooh, let's, not, let's not do that with you, please. Uh, we'll put in a Dario here in just a few. Yeah, people send me their saves that they might be having some issues with. Okay, so how much is this? So four per minute, four per minute, and 12 per minute. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to boost that productivity on up so they can make a little bit faster. It's probably not going to give us much more, maybe like one. Yeah, like one more per minute. That's fine, though, because that is going to be what I need. Let's go over here and take a gander at this right here. How much did I need per minute on that? I believe it was 20. It was 20. Why is it 20? What are we producing that we need so much for? Malt. Flour. Probably, yeah, a couple of silos. So when you're doing a self-sufficient island, the best way to do it is just to, is to only import intermediate or final products. Don't import. Uh, if you're doing a self-sufficient island, the easiest way is with Docklands is to produce is to import intermediate or finished products. Uh, he did not specify. How he wanted it to do. Uh, he did not specify uh, like if he wanted to import it all so, or not. So I'm just going to do it my way. Because he didn't tell me how he wanted to import it. He just said he wanted to do it this way. So, Alright. Let's look and see what all we need to work on with this. So 20 per minute, 30, so 600. All right, see you later, mouse. We'll import 600 grain, and then we're going to go over here then, and we are going to get rid of this trade route and delete it. Then we will come down here where I set up these grain farms, and we'll just turn them all off for right now. Since we're not going to be uh, doing that, we're going to set this up self-sufficiently. Um, doesn't have space for much in terms of how many could squeeze another export office in. He's I'm I'm, I'm sorry, guy. I, he does watch these videos, uh, so I am going to go ahead and apologize to him because I am going to ruin his. Um, his beautiful little layout he made because uh, I need space and he did not leave me any he didn't he didn't really leave much room for expansion if you're trying to do a self-sufficient island you need as many of these as possible so we're going to have to squeeze a few more in I'll try to make it look at least halfway nice whoa hello yes yeah, so it gives me one more go back I need once he leaves I need to kind of go and see what's going on with the uh the imports and export stuff okay so it's going to take care of that now we've got a whole lot of stuff that's uh that we're not producing much of at the moment and really I would like to get him up to have 10,000 engineers that would actually be ideal he have, how many does he have applied to this? So 8,200 are now assigned. Okay. 
Uh, I wish you hadn't just got here because I could do with importing. These fabled lands exist after all. Where is... Yeah, there they are. Come over here and steal some timber. Rowex, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Now, we do need to import a couple of things for this. Um, I'm going to need to import Kalchuk. That's going to be, have to be something we import is Kalchuk. Not from there. Over here. Ooh, I can't do it yet. Uh, because we need to import Tallow. Okay, so we're going to have to import Tallow first. I need to import 2,000 tons of it. Ugh, that's rough. That's rough. Alright, well, we'll have to start somewhere. So we'll start with that. Um, which tallow do I have sitting around, possibly? I'm full up on tallow. All right, let's see. Turn these guys off for a moment. Let's pop down here and we'll do a little uh, shuffling of goods here. Get this thing fixed. Why do you have no timber? Build? Yeah, he did build a dock lance. It's right here. Do I have room in it? I do have room in this. So let's just tell it I want him to import some timber. That way I ha I always have plenty of timber. I don't know what his total stock on this island is. So we'll just say 5,000. Just so it fills up. So he'll be here in a few minutes. Fine. Alright, bring them up here. Unload that so I can get that going. Do I have any Kalchuk sitting around anywhere? I've got 2,000 over here on Rurik. Okay, that, that's, that's, that's handy. And I had an empty ship. Yeah, both of you guys come down here. We'll pick that up. That's also a really easy way right there. If you're curious if you have something somewhere, just load up a random trade route and hit load good and just hover over what you're looking for. So you, and it shows you how much is on every island. It's just a really easy way to see, you know, what you've got sitting around. It's just a nice quick way of seeing that. All right. Uh, couch, let's load some of that up so I can at least start uh, producing some of those goods quickly. Only good thing that happened after my fracture of casting and how it's discovering this channel. Well, that sucks, but at the same time, awesome. Alright. Yeah, figure we're running low on everything now, as is to be expected right at the moment. And that's fine. What I'm going to do is um, we're well, going to turn off sausage. Actually, what, what were we low on? We're okay on... Oh, well, it's because I turned that off. Turn it back on. Let me see where we are at with soap. Soap is okay. We can turn off bread. Not to them them. Okay, that should be okay. Uh, these three guys will pop up here out of my way. Alright, cool. Who was that? 
That was another Ferris Al Sarami. He, he's like, he's just got some random stuff queued up here, and I don't know why. Um, I, I really need that Dario. I want him there. Um, I don't, I don't know why he's doing those. I need the Dario more than anything. Get another one in here. Have a Dario anywhere? I do. What? It says I have some. Am I blind as a bat? Apparently I'm blind as a bat and I didn't see that he was sitting there. Oh well. Is this a game of someone else? Yes it is. This is someone's game that they sent me. That they uh, needed a little help on. Okay, so... Love Dario because he replaced steel with just iron, and we get pocket watches and gramophones, which are going to be useful for us. Uh, things we don't need now is so much steel. We definitely don't need as much steel anymore. Let's get rid of some of this. I know, I had a bunch of Dario's, and I didn't... Apparently, I didn't even realize it. So... Oh, crap. We have stupid this thing going on. Okay, add him back in then. Didn't even notice that. Don't have a major discovery for that right now. Arrgh. Hmm. Okay. Okay, you can you can stop doing that. That's driving me crazy. Um okay. Got to figure out I got I got to get some more steel. Um okay, we don't need this working at 50%. That would probably help. Okay, that gives us enough iron right there to support this for the moment. So we got some caoutchouc in there. Yeah, especially when I don't look up and see that we have the commemoration day going. That that kind of hurt me for a moment. We'll see where we're at when the commemoration day is over in 13 minutes. We'll check back on it. We'll, we'll check back in on the commemorate after commemoration day is over. Okay. There is another thing I do want to do the next time we have a newspaper come through. And I want to... Um, Use a couple of propagandas. Alright. Let's see what we've got to get going here. So. Fur coats. Just everything, really. Fortunately, these are not electrified. Where's that power plant at? I saw it a moment ago. There you are. Got power all over here and then up into here. Some over there. Okay. All right. Yeah, okay, so a disaster save does not necessarily, doesn't all, I, people always think that, oh, this isn't a disaster save because he's got plenty of money. Doesn't mean it's not a, it's not a disaster. He's got production problems everywhere. He had trade route problems everywhere. When we first got the game, actually, he was way in the hole and his population was, is still all over the place. So right now it's trying to balance everything. A lot of people uh, misunderstand what disaster means. Disaster doesn't always mean, you know, that he's about to go bankrupt. He's losing money or well, his money's all over the place. Until a stable, properly functioning game has no fluctuating population, no fluctuating income and stable production uh, that is moving goods in and out efficiently. 
Until then, it's a mess. And his is still a mess at the moment. He still had, I mean, of course, I had created some of this because I upgraded a bunch of people. Uh, but, you know, we, we've still got to get some of his stuff back in order. That can be turned off. He doesn't need sails anymore. We don't need that. I could move all these up around electricity, but I just don't think I care enough. I just don't think I care enough. But that's fine. That's fine. To be quite frank with you, I don't think I care about beer on this island. So we're going to we're just gonna we're just gonna do away with beer on this island. Um, it's a luxury good. It's not necessary. We don't really need it. So we're just gonna do away with the the whole beer situation. There we go. Okay, just do away with that. Yeah, making money is the easy part. Like. Having having income, that's easy. You know, that's like basic. That's like game basics 101 is to make sure you have an income. Making sure your production and your population are stable. That's the tricky part sometimes for a lot of people. Okay, do away with the beer. We don't care about the beer. And God knows that my ass... Excuse me, I said a dirty word. Uh, I don't like canned food. So we're doing away with it. No artisanal kitchens, it's fine. Do away with these canneries. That's all good to me as well. And... I'm going to import the canned food. How much did I need per minute on the canned food? Nine per minute. When in doubt, always just import canned goods. When in doubt, always import. Oh, he he'll be here in a few minutes, and I need to um I need to dump over a bunch of that. Shut up. There we go. Space cleared out. Good deal. Alright. Space cleared out for that. Uh, still don't really have a good idea because this commemoration day thing is still going on. Uh, but we do need to import. It was 9 per minute, so 9 times 30 is 270. So, I need to import 270 of that. We're going to get that from uh, I still need this going right here for a moment. He doesn't have enough. He doesn't have anything up here unlocked yet to where I could build a couple more uh, of those. Hey, what's up, Andrew? See, this is the problem with having scholars on the same island you're trying to do a self-sufficiency on because you want to try to import everything for the scholars as well. And you only have 13 slots, and he only has 10 right now, so I can't even do all of them. Uh, we we don't have the we don't have all of this right here unlocked just yet, so I can't even import everything I need. All right, let's do away with that. Let's come right here, and we'll do the canned. No, I want canned goods. All right, here we go, canned goods. Lovely. Canned goods now. How many am I producing of these guys per minute right now? 21. So we've actually got uh, a decent amount. So we can do that right there. And we'll just say right now, we'll say 1500. That's more than, that's more than what we have to have. And that's fine. Fresh haircut. I did it myself yesterday. Yeah, it's that bad. I, uh, yeah, we'll see. A haircut. Have a non-aggression. Have some cash. Thank you. 
Uh, speaking of, I need to give you some cash. Can I flatter you? Oh, I can. He likes me. Okay. Cool. All right, so we're going to get the canned goods in. Fight with a lawnmower. I did it real. I, I wear. A, I did it real quick, and I wear a hat a lot. So, I, I I didn't really care. I just I just said there. It's done. Now he has. All right, we're going to uh, shuffle the, some of these guys over to here. How many of these do we have scattered around the island? We got three. We got one right there. Okay. So the one I'm looking for. So brave and so many lives. Okay, so now it's producing enough. And with Dario and Bruno on there, that also gives us um, more goodies. So that's helpful. I think I need this to end. And that's fixable real easy. All right, lovely. Lovely, lovely. It's those taken care of. That's that part taken care of. A bit of a tease Sausages are still a problem. Um, we are going to be upgrading a bunch of these guys. We are going to be upgrading a bunch of the artisans here pretty soon. No, go away. Mm. This is just an annoying island to, to have to try and do this on because he's trying to, because of all the scholar crap he's got going on too. If it wasn't for all the scholar stuff, then it really wouldn't be so bad. Let's see about maybe... Got, we got some odd some oddball space around here now since I've taken out some buildings so we could um get some of these guys in over here um just destroy them all he doesn't have ugh, he doesn't have uh refunds turned on which is super Okay, I'm just going to start popping some of these in here. Darn electrified, though. That is. Fine. Fine, I'll move you somewhere with electricity. Push. Find a little spot right here. Looks looks good. That looks like a nice spot for him. Okay, so now it's producing enough. That's fine. Oh, hey, Raycam. How's it going? All right, so that takes care of that part. All right, that takes care of all of that. That's all of that. That's fine. Good deal. Um, let's see. So we got to get some more fur coats coming in. We've got three fur coat factories on the island. They are all right here. Now, he he did do the good thing, and he does have them around a costume designer, which is mwah, kissy. It's chef kiss right there. 
So that's really, really good. Um, he also has uh, a Lady Jane Smith and a Lily the Fashion Designer. So both of those are good as well. So those are helpful. Oh, he hates fur coats. Blah. I don't care. Let's see, we're going to have to squeeze in one more somewhere. So I think we're going to have to do a little uh, little rearranging here. Do need one more. Now electrified right there, which is not the best because I do need him electrified. That'll work. Uh, a governess? No, nah, we won't do that one. Uh, where did those go? There they are. Okay, cool. Okay, so that ought to be enough for coats. Yes, it is. Oh, is that stupid thing over? Yes, it's finally over. Okay, let's actually get an actual look and see what's going on. Okay, we are mahusively underproducing our iron. Just, just mahusively. We have no demand for steel anymore now, so that's actually handy. I can take these out. So that takes care of that. That reduces us down from 37 to 21 per minute that we have to have. Plus, we need some wood. Okay, let's do away with that and that. We're going to have to import the rest. No, not that one. The moron over here. I have to do that. How much is that? Oh wow, that's actually quite decent. We had an we had an offset of sixteen per minute. That is that that's no 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 go away, Edge. No one likes you. No one no one likes you, Edge. 480? How much of that stuff am I producing? Only 5 per minute, though. Not much. I think that will be just enough for this. Okay. What's going on? All right, see you later, Joker. 46 divided by 30. Yeah, equals. Okay, that's fine. So this right here will be enough right here. We'll just tell it 500. What? What is going on? What have I hit? I've hit numlock, apparently. Okay. So that will square away the iron that is required for us. You know, we are way overproducing on coal. We don't hardly need any coal. So what I would do is I would come right here and... like Again, he's just got a lot of random stuff queued up. I don't know why. Uh, more, you know... More important stuff right now. We want to change some oil... To, uh, change ore deposits. At least two of them. We want to queue a couple of those right there up. Because we don't really need that much more. Do you think maybe some restaurant tourists would help with consumption or some other stuff from different DLCs? It would help a little bit, but at the same time, then you'd have to have even more stuff because then you would need to be supplying all of the tourists. So that's even more that you have to supply. It's more for coats, more more of that than all the goods that you need for these. So it's it's a you know it's just more stuff you have to produce. And you don't have enough, uh, there's not enough attractiveness on this island either. Uh, with the number of investors that are currently in the game, you would need 
3,250 attractiveness on this island, or the, um, actually it says 1,750, uh, oh, it's per island, I think, I'm sorry, it's per island, I believe, not, not globally. So it does need 1,750 on this island. So, I mean, it's almost there, but at the same time, you know, it would help a little bit. The biggest thing right now is, honestly, I'm waiting for the newspaper. And apparently it published and I didn't know. I didn't pay, pay attention to it publishing. I gotta watch for that. Um, we need to run a newspaper and start getting consumption reduction. That's gonna be a big thing. Is getting the consumption reduction policies. Okay. So they've got everything they need now. So let's go ahead and get some of these guys right here upgraded. Lovely. All right. Do away with a lot of these guys right here that are consuming a lot of our goodies. All right, we're making enough bombins now, so the scholars are all taken care of. They are good to go. Sewing machines are still a bit of a... Oh, he's not electrified. Well, don't know what that was supposed to be, but it's going away. Okay, now he's electrified like he's supposed to be. And he is too. Okay. What's up, Ogre? I'm going to go ahead and boost this by 50%. Cool. Yeah, ran out of Kalchuk again. To be expected. Rikam, I can't really tell you how to design it how I do to make it look like I do. Uh, you know, I honestly just can't tell you that. I I, I don't know. You know, you, you've the, the islands are designed completely differently. So, you know, it would all be completely different. Okay, it's all fixed. All right, let me steal some more caoutchouc from up here. Bring that back up here. Let's bring you guys down here. All right. All right, let's turn on the last two things that they need. I don't know why they are turned off. So we need coffee and light bulbs. But we need some timber first. Emperor Katima is furious. Eh. So is there any solution for improvement? I mean, that's what I've been doing for the last week, though. Rikam is I've, you know, I've been I've been fixing it. Um, I have been trying, you know, we're, we're trying to get things, you know, integrated into the city for some more, you know, realism and everything. Um, Go back and watch the beginning of the VOD, because I do talk about some things that I would have done differently with this island. Um, the big thing is, I would not have got had these guys over here. I would not have put these guys over here. So, Oh, actually, one second. I just realized we're already at a hundred, uh, an hour and 12 minutes. We're over a little bit on how I wanted to go. So anyways, uh, YouTube, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, we are going to come back in the next part, and we are going to finish getting this island right here taken a... Uh, cleaned up i at least want to get our first investors on this island that's kind of my main goal i want to get investors going on this island first and foremost 
And then from there, we will move on most likely to the new world and get the new world fixed up from there. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.